now we don't have the extent of that damage. We're still waiting on those reports to come in. And after a tornado uh, touches down and it's doing damage, it can take some time for this to uh, actually be known. So there you see that brand new radar image, that tornado debris signature there right along the Jones and Jasper County line crossing Highway 15. This is well west of Sandersville, and this is about to track into the northern section there, as we mentioned of uh, uh, well, it's in northern Jones County, about to cross there into the southern section, I should say, of Jasper County. So again, this is not a tornado warning, not a simple tornado warning. This is a tornado emergency with a large and violent tornado here in the northern part of uh, Jones County, southern Jasper County. This has just moved through the Soso community. And uh, again, we've, we've had a long history with this. This storm has been cranking for the better part of the last hour and a half. Folks, I told you we could have some... Uh, long track tornadoes and we certainly have some long track tornadoes with this. I want to zoom out a little bit and then we're going to zoom right back in, but I want to adjust the view of this so we can actually give you an idea of where this is going and roughly when it's uh, going to be there because this is heading toward Clark County right now. This has been moving close to 55 miles per hour, so we're going to uh, put the tracker on this and we're going to track from the debris signature because that's about where the tornado is located. When we see the debris signature, debris is being drawn into the circulation and then lofted into the thunderstorm. And that's what the radar is seeing right there. So we track this out uh, generally off toward the east and northeast. And you can see, yes, this is likely coming across uh, the central section now of Clark County, which if you've been watching our Facebook page or even my Facebook page is a little bit of an adjustment from where we were earlier. Uh, if this continues on its current track, this very well may be heading right toward Quitman at about 530. That's in about half an hour from now. If it stays its current track, this is going to be very near or perhaps just north of Heidelberg right there at 512. And then it moves over the Vosburg area at about 515. Remember I said all week long, these tornadoes are going to be very fast movers and they have been. This one's moving at about 55 miles per hour. We've seen some up just north of us that were moving at about 70 miles per hour. So these have some boogie. They have some giddy up to them and they're going to continue tracking and racing off toward the northeast. Again, racing across Clark County here, uh, likely arriving in the Quitman area if it holds together by 531, then Sykes 544. And if it holds together again, we're back into the Vimville area perhaps by 552. Although if it follows the center of this cone, this likely will stay south of Vimville, and this is going to be a, a bigger problem for folks around Snell and Entergy. Again, getting into that 552 to 559 time frame, uh, and perhaps even Butler just after 6 o'clock. So we still have a little bit of time on this. It's 459 right now, and those are, again, estimated times of arrival of this uh, supercell thunderstorm and the tornado that it has caused. I want to go back now to our live radar signature. This is uh, just an incredibly well organized storm. What we're looking at here is circulation being drawn into the south side of the storm and you can kind of see uh, where it's kind of carving out a little bit of a notch there. So that's where the rotation is happening right in this area and what's happening is we're drawing in energy. We're drawing in all that warmth and humidity and it's being blown up into the thunderstorm by those strong winds and then we're fanning out across the top. This is a problem, and I'm going to explain why here in just a second. So you can actually see how this kind of carves out a large V here over Jasper County. Now heavy rain is moving into Quitman out on the leading edge of that, but that's not the tornado threat. But this V that I'm talking about is indicating to us that we've got the wind spreading out aloft. And when that's happening, we're turning this circulation into a large drinking straw, and it's going to keep this thing cranking for a long period of time. As I mentioned, we've been tracking this for the better part of the last hour and a half. It's been on the ground likely that long, and it's not showing any signs of slowing down. Sometimes it cycles a little bit, and it may be uh, weakens a bit, but we've had a, a strong indication of a strong tornado on this since this was just west of Collins. Again, we don't have any warnings in our area just yet. This is just south of us. I will tell you that we do have a tornado watch. This tornado watch is for all of our East Mississippi counties until 8 p.m. And I think more recently, we've also had Alabama added to that watch. Meteorologist Shelby Mason is here with me uh, as well. And do you have the expiration time on that Alabama portion of that watch? I believe it is the same, but we did just get a flash flood warning for Neshoba County. Okay. So that is... Um, so that's going to be up here. Uh, that's actually north of Philadelphia. There is a flash flood warning up there. And no that tornado warning. 
That doesn't expire until 745. Okay, so that goes until 745 from northern Neshoba County and up to the north here into Winston County and Noxubee counties as well. I do want to talk about Noxubee County. Uh, I'm going to go back to kind of where I was here because we have some damage reports coming from this area as well. There's likely a large tornado that cut right across Highway 45 on the south side of Brooksville uh, close to an hour ago, and this is tracking through Alabama now, and it's out of our viewing area, long out of our viewing area. However, uh, there have been some reports of some damage, as we mentioned, some heavy damage uh, up here in this area as well. So that's something else that we are continuing to monitor closely. And the uh, storms that we're watching down to the south, they bear the more immediate threat to our area. Again, they're just outside of our area, but they're coming in. And as soon as we get that tornado warning, uh, we'll, of course, bring that to you. It looks like it just went out. Is that right? Yes. Yep. So this uh, meteorologist Shelby Mason, our new weekend meteorologist, is with me this uh, this evening. And uh, what can you tell me? What are the expiration times in the areas for this new tornado warning? Well, right now we just got another tornado warning that is for Jasper Jones and Smith, and that is until 6 p.m. All right. So that's. Um, is this a? Are they continuing the tornado? It looks like they're going to continue. So this is Covington. Wait. This is the new one. Right here. Okay. So this is for Covington, Jasper, Jones, and Smith counties. That's actually for another storm coming in from behind, right? Yes. Okay, so that's actually not a Clark County warning, although that one could be forthcoming here in the, in the next couple of minutes. And uh, this is the warning that we're talking about back here. This warning back here. This is a new tornado warning. Uh, and again, a likely... Uh, tornado uh, again looks like a tornado on the ground, but likely a catastrophic tornado. The second one today, at least the second one today, and this has now prompted a new tornado warning for uh, again Covington, Jasper, Jones, and Smith County. So again, just outside of our area, this one is probably the more uh, immediate threat to us because it's getting closer and closer to you in Clark County. I'm going to get close to Clark County here really quickly, and I want to just show you. Look, this is just heavy rain. It's just heavy rain right now. What we're watching is actually coming in from the south and west here, and that's where the tornado threat uh, exists right now. This tornado now uh, carving a path through the southern part of Jones County, and this has hit the Soso community in northwest Jones County. So now we're in Jasper. It's coming out of Jones. It's getting closer and closer to Heidelberg, and it looks like it might be moving slightly to the right of that path that I showed you here just a minute ago. So I'm going to zoom back out on this, and uh, we're going to get uh, a little bit of a different... Uh, uh, vantage of this. I just want to kind of switch the zoom and we're going to put the new tracker on this now that we have a new radar uh, uh, image to, to share with you here. Uh, so let's get back into here. Let's turn the zoom back on. And uh, here we go. We're going to zoom back into this. And again, we're over southern Jasper County right now. Very strong rotation is being indicated here. And uh, this is what we want to track. But again, I want to track this from the tornado debris signature, which is right there. This is the tornado debris signature. So it's just west now of uh, Interstate 59, uh, well to the south and west here of... Um, of our friends in Heidelberg. So this again tracking maybe a little bit more east than northeast. That's not necessarily good news for us in Clark County, uh, but it maybe shifts if this follows the center of this, it maybe shifts this just to the south in Quitman. If it's going to hit you in Quitman, it's still on track to come in just after 530 right now 531. But this comes into the Heidelberg area at 511. Uh, 515 in Vosburg, the Nancy community at 521. Hale 526. Uh, equipment 531, Sells Prairie at 534, Psych 541, Energy at 546, Needham at 553, and then in Butler at 602. Butler getting into West Alabama there. So that's the current track of this tornado. It looks like we have some new severe thunderstorm warnings that have also just been issued. Uh, I'm going to jump forward and we're going to take a look at all of the warnings that we have across our uh, area right now. And uh, there we go. The pink that you're seeing, that kind of pinkish purple, that's our tornado watch. That runs until 8 o'clock tonight for the entire new Center 11 viewing area. The red, you see, those are tornado warnings, and those are for Jasper, Jones, and then back to Southern Smith and Covington counties as well. This is not just a tornado warning. This is a tornado emergency. These are confirmed tornadoes, very large tornadoes that are causing damage right now. Uh, again, over Jasper, Jones, Smith, and Covington counties. The orange we see, that's the new severe thunderstorm warning. This covers parts of Neshoba, Winston, and Leak counties. And there's also a severe thunderstorm warning that includes a, a huge portion here of Scott County and the northwest corner now uh, of Smith County as well. And I'm going to check in now with meteorologist Shelby Mason. She has some new information for us, it looks like. It looks like we actually just got involved in the first tornado emergency warning that got extended into Clark 
into Clark County. Okay. It's um, west of Hattleburg right now and is moving northeast. Okay, so uh, the, the indication is that we have a warning coming for Clark County. Uh, here in the next minute or so. So they are going to extend that warning downstream. So we officially have a tornado warning coming now, the first of our viewing area uh, for the day. Again, coming into Clark County. This tornado is just west of Heidelberg, and this is tracking, tell me again, Shelby? Northeast. Northeast at 55 or 45? 55. 55, okay. So it's still moving at about 55 miles per hour, which is some consistency. So you're going to see this warning pop up and extend into Clark County here in just a second. Uh, maybe a few seconds, but uh, again, a torna new tornado warning is coming out now for Clark County, and I think that's it right there. Uh, so there we go. There's the new tornado warning again. Now coming into Clark County, we're going to zoom back into this, and we're going to take a closer look at this. So this is for about the northern half of Clark County. This includes Quitman. This includes uh, Stonewall, Enterprise, and then also areas down toward, uh, say, Pachuda. And also, <coughs> excuse me, also Heidelberg is still associated with this. So here's our rotation. Uh, as we mentioned, this is getting closer and closer now uh, to the Heidelberg area. This is some strong rotation. This is incredibly powerful. Uh, let's move over here to the next image. And I'm going to zoom back in so I can get a better uh, zoom and a better uh, perspective of this. So this is the tornado right in here. We can almost see that little donut hole. And we saw something similar to that back in December when we tracked a tornado across southwest Clark County. We're seeing something very similar to this. And we have seen consistent strong indications that this is not just a tornado. This is a strong tornado. And this has been causing damage. This is not a possible tornado, folks. This is a confirmed large tornado, very powerful tornado, and this is tracking toward the northeast uh, at about 55 miles per hour, racing northeastward. So we're going to track this from its current location right across Clark County, and these times uh, look actually fairly similar to what I showed you just a couple of minutes ago. This is going to move right over the top of Vosburgh uh, within the next, say, six or seven minutes or so at 515. Then it's over Barnett at 519, Pachuda at 523, Hale at 526, Quitman at 531, Sykes 541, Snell at 549, Vimville at 553, Riderwood 557, and then over Lisman in West Alabama uh, at 601. A couple of points I want to make about this. Number one, if you live in a mobile home, you need to get to a safer place now. It's not a good place to be. It's an extremely dangerous place to be. Number two, if you're in a sturdy house, a sturdy structure, what you want to do is you want to put as many walls between you and the outside as you can, and you want to stay there until this thing passes. This thing has some movement to it. It's moving very quickly, 55 miles per hour. So it's not going to last long, but while it's there, it's going to be extremely intense. You're going to hear a lot of noise, and you, the potential for debris to be flying through the air is there. So when you go to that tornado safe place, right in the middle of your home, maybe in a small hall closet, a small bathroom. I like bathtubs because the plumbing in the walls gives you a little bit of added protection. You want to cover up with maybe a small mattress, couch cushions, pillows, blankets, whatever you can that can help you protect yourself from flying debris. Meteorologist Shelby Mason is with me, our new weekend meteorologist. Were you trying to get my attention? No, I wasn't. Okay. But I will say that we do have a confirmed large and destructive tornado that is near Hattleburg, and it, or it is 11 miles east of Stringer, and it is moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. All right, I'm going to zoom into our cone here, and I want to get right on down into some of these streets. We, we can kind of see Vosburg there. So here over the next uh, little while, uh, this crosses... Uh, really, it's, in, it's about to cross I-59 just west of Heidelberg right now. Uh, the debris ball is this feature right here. I'm circling it on the map for you so you can see it. That is our debris ball. That's where the radar is actually seeing debris that's being thrown into the sky. This is how we know this is not a possible tornado. That and the fact that we've had confirmation that there is, in fact, a large tornado here. So this is going to cross Highway 11 right after it moves through Vosburgh here in the next couple of minutes, and then it targets areas around Barnett and Highway 11 near the County Road 280 intersection near the Nancy community in uh, Clark County. Also, Pachuda up along Highway 18, getting over toward Elwood and Harmony, uh, right along Highway uh, 512, County Road 512, County Road 120. Uh, these are all areas that are in the impact of this. Uh, Quitman, Highway 145 up along Artusa Avenue, will continue tracking northward here through uh, 513 towards Stonewall. You're in the path of this as well, County Road 130, County Road 320, um, and then we get up to Highway 45 and 145, uh, perhaps getting closer and closer to uh, areas like Clarkdale and Vimville eventually. So that's where this storm is right now, and those are the areas that are really
really in the path of this storm and uh, very well may be uh, under fire here as this storm is getting closer and closer. Uh, let's zoom back into our storm and we don't want to forget there is a storm coming behind this and this is passing now just to the west of Collins and approaching Taylorsville. Uh, and this is on the heels of our first storm. Uh, this also has a confirmed tornado with it, and we can even see the debris here. And I'm going to put the tracker on this from the debris signature, uh, which is right here south of Highway 49. So this is also tracking uh, toward Clark County. And if it holds together, this can come into Collins at 517, Hebron at 529, Soso 536, Laurel 544, Sandersville 552, Heidelberg 557, Pachuda 608, Quitman 617, Langsdale uh, 621 and then Sykes at 627. That's the second storm. Our first storm is this one and it's tracking northeast again at about 55 miles per hour. Again, these th these storms are moving quickly. We told you they would and we told you they'd be on the ground for long periods of time. There again are the arrival times, the estimated arrival times coming into Vosburg here within the next five minutes or so. Uh, Barnett 521, Pachuda 525, Hale 528, Quitman 533, Sykes 543. It's going to be near the Snell community at 551. Uh, and then West Butler at 558, over downtown Butler at 605, and over the Siloam community at 614. So uh, these are the areas where you want to take cover. And I'm going to ask back in the back. Uh, if you would, please, we're going to jump back over to the live radar here and we're going to continue to track this. But in the control room, I'm going to ask our directors, Lauren and Stephen, if you could bring me that graphic, give me that graphic that shows the safe, uh, the, the, the safety information for uh, the tornadoes. And perfect. Thank you so much. So again, when we uh, are dealing with this, as I mentioned, you want to be in a tornado shelter or in the interior room of a home. Again, you want to put as many walls between you and the outside as you can. And then you want to leave mobile homes, as I told you uh, a short time ago. Leave that mobile home. You are better off getting down low in a ditch and actually hunkering down there and maybe trying to cover up with a jacket or a pillow uh, than you are in a mobile home. Mobile homes become missiles, and I've seen mobile homes thrown 300 yards. That has happened before. I'm not making this up. Uh, please do not stay in a mobile home. That's an extremely dangerous place to be. You want to make sure you protect your head, protect your chest, uh, and you can cover up with pillows, with helmets, uh, even couch cushions, blankets, anything like that. That will help you and you want to keep calm. I know it's easy to panic and I know this is a scary situation, but panicking is not what's going to help you. You have to keep your wits about you and you have to do what I'm telling you uh, if, if uh, we're going to get through this here and, and we'll get through it. We just we have to get through it and it's going to take some time. Uh, we told you this was happening. Uh, we've been tracking this threat all week long. It's a little bit delayed in starting today because we had some early morning clouds that kind of slowed things down a little bit. But now things are happening. Things are popping. And we have a dangerous situation unfolding right over Clark County right now as this tornado is about to cross the county line. It is just crossing now uh, Interstate 59 and approaching Highway 11, very near Heidelberg. And it's making a beeline for... Clark County at this time. We're also starting to notice, and if we can, let's go back to the full screen version of the radar here. Uh, we're starting to notice that some of this heavy rain is beginning to spread now into Lauderdale County, especially uh, from about Clarkdale back toward San Meridian Regional Airport and also the Arundel area. Uh, that's just heavy rain for the time being. The tornado threat is farther south and likely will stay south of you in Lauderdale County and uh, even around Meridian. However, we're likely to see some of this heavy rain start to expand up from the south from this storm. And it may be, I've seen this happen here before. In fact, back on April 27th, 2011, this happened. We had a tornado that would pass to the south of Lauderdale County, and we had debris that was falling out of the sky over downtown Meridian. That can happen, so be aware that you probably don't want to be outside. It may be just rain, but there may be other stuff falling from the sky as well, and you probably don't want to get hit by that. I want to get closer again to this storm. We're going to uh, zero in again on the circulation, and we're going to continue to uh, provide this live analysis for you and this live warning for you as this is, again, approaching Clark County. And this is a tornado warning that continues now for Clark County, including Quitman, including Pachuda. And uh, we're going to get back into the, the winds here. I'm hearing some thunder here in downtown Meridian. Ooh, look at that rotation. That's some strong rotation crossing I-59 right now. 
Now, the rotation is going to be close to the tornado, or the tornado is going to be close to that rotation, but the tornado can be slightly displaced from where we're seeing this right now. So we can use another product from the radar, uh, and we can use that to determine where the damage is actually being lofted into the cloud. It's actually right underneath that rotation. So uh, in this particular instance, it's, it's fairly uh, uh, closely located here. This may be trying to trend to the north just a little bit, and uh, that, that could be a dangerous sign. So let's track this a little farther north and get it up into Clark County here. I'm going to put the cone back on this, uh, but first we need to zoom our pan back up to the north, rather. Uh, again, a dangerous situation is unfolding here over Clark County. Uh, this is, uh, uh, has a history of, of being a large and violent tornado, and this, again, tracking off toward the uh, kind of east-northeast, sometimes more northeast and sometimes a little bit more to the east. So here are the latest arrival times based on some slight adjustment here based on that radar trend. This comes into the Barnett area at about 522, and then it's over uh, Clark Academy, 525, Pachuda at 525, uh, Beatrice at 527, uh, Watubi at 531, Stonewall 534, uh, and then over the Roy community at 541. Uh, again, this is a dangerous storm. This has a history of producing a tornado. This is not a possible tornado. This is a confirmed tornado. And again, I uh, can't stress enough, a very dangerous situation now uh, is unfolding here across uh, East Mississippi. And eventually this could impact West Alabama as well. As I mentioned, we have had some storms up to the north. Right now there are no tornado warnings to the north, but there are some flash flood warnings. Meteorologist Shelby Mason is flagging me down. What you got? Well, we actually do have a severe thunderstorm warning with a possible tornado. Winds are at 60 miles per hour in Neshoba and Winston County until... Oh. 5:45 p.m. So, a brand new tornado warning for now, Neshoba and Winston. Yes. All right. So, and let's then there's a tornado warning for Covington, Jasper, and Jones, and Smith until 6 p.m. Still. Okay. So that's this one, and then we want to get right here into Neshoba County as well, uh, and also into Winston County, where we now have a brand new tornado warning. And uh, let's see where this rotation is. This is a new storm that's developing. Um, where are they saying this rotation is? I'm, I'm not seeing any strong rotation. I'm seeing. So this is, is this a tornado warning or severe thunderstorm warning? For? It's for Neshoba and Winston. Neshoba and Winston is the um, severe thunderstorm. Okay, so that's my, that was my mistake. I apologize. But uh, one of the things I'm seeing here, and, and we can actually uh, query this, we can actually ask the radar to tell us about how strong this is. So this is a severe thunderstorm warning, yes. Um, but, uh, well, that's not too bad, actually. Uh, but what we're seeing, though, is, is that more likely than not, there we go, we're starting to get some of that wind showing up. Uh, but this is above the ground, and sometimes down closer to the ground, this wind can be a little bit stronger. So this could uh, very easily be upward of around, uh, say, 55 to 60 miles per hour, which can cause damage like a small tornado. Uh, the tornado threat is a little farther south right now. There you see the damage reports. Uh, you know what? I want to take a look at these. I want to find out if there's a little bit more information about what kind of damage is actually being caused. And we have the ability to do that here, so let's do it. Uh, we'll start with this one near the Collins area. We have damage to homes and to power poles. Uh, no damage is good, um, but we uh, aren't hearing some of the worst that we could be hearing, which... Um, is kind of one of those, okay, there we go. So this is in the Salem community down in Lawrence County. Emergency management reported two houses destroyed in Northern Walthall County. So that's, uh, again, this, this is my fear here is that we have more uh, of that as this is coming together. Uh, and then we have still more uh, damage being reported. Uh, this is about, oh, this is the National Weather Service indicating where the tornado debris signature started. That's the TDS, tornado debris signature. So they're notating where that uh, actually began. And then we have, uh, looks like that's the, yes, uh, emergency management also reporting uh, quite a few homes are damaged in northern Walthall County, just north of Highway 44. And I like to know what's happening with that because uh, that gives us some indication of what we uh, may be dealing with here. And we are dealing with something that's um, probably very potent, now crossing now into Clark County. So we're going to get a little bit closer into this now. And uh, we're going to keep a very close eye on this. This is trending to the north. It looked like that was happening in the last couple of radar scans, and it looks like it's a trend that continues. It looks like this rotation may be trying to lose some of its intensity. Now, I don't want you to think that's a good thing. No, it doesn't. It's uh, actually starting to reorganize a little bit is more what it looks like. Uh, so this rotation is actually still back along Interstate 59, just north of Heidelberg. So it's, again, trending to the north a little bit and coming in a little bit closer to Pachuda. 
Uh, let's check out the damage. I want to see that tornado debris signature. Yeah, still a very large uh, tornado debris signature showing up there on, East, on EMEPA live radar. So again, a very uh, uh, dangerous, very fluid situation. And this is a situation that will continue uh, adjusting here over the next couple of minutes. So from that tornado debris signature, I, I want to track this out uh, again. And uh, let's go back to that. And then we're going to put the tracker on this so that we can uh, get a, another idea again of where this is going because this is getting closer and closer to you in Pachuda. I'm going to track it from the leading edge of that tornado debris signature. A and again, this is kind of trending more toward the uh, east and northeast here. And uh, this is going to be uh, a, 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 an issue here as we get this into Clark County here over the next, say, five to ten minutes or so. So this is going to be over Clark County and over Pachuda. I'm sorry, over Clark Academy and over Pachuda at about uh, 525. It'll be over the Beatrice community at 527. Uh, Roy, 540. Middleton, 545. Energy at 549. And then Enzer, the Enzer community, at 551. Now on this track, this may pass just north of Quitman. That would be better, but it's still not a good thing. Again, a tornado emergency uh, continues here for Clark County. All right, so our severe thunderstorm warning for uh, Neshoba County has actually just been canceled. Always good news. Um, but we're still dealing with this tornado threat now uh, just to the south. So the, the severe thunderstorm uh, threat continues for Winston County. It looks like a tornado threat up here in Noxubee County as well. That's at least the second one today. And then we have a, a kind of a pair of storms uh, that are tracking here in our southern areas. One now just moving into Clark County. That's why we have a tornado warning for Clark County. And then a second tornado warning is, uh, has been issued for Southern Jones, Northwest, uh, for Southern Jasper, Northwest Jones, and then back into Smith and Collins counties as well. That's for a second thunderstorm that is tracking through that area uh, right now. So uh, remember, we have a watch and we have warnings. A watch means it's possible. A warning means it is happening. And in this case, it's not just a warning. It is a, it's an emergency situation. This is a tornado emergency, as we mentioned here, with that tornado warning there in Clark County that extends back into Jasper County as well. So that's where we are right now. This continues its track. And as I mentioned, uh, we do have that potential uh, to see this uh, spread some heavy rain into the south of Lauderdale County. Right now, it looks like this tornado threat will primarily stay over Clark County, although if it continues trending north as it has been, we may see this clip the southeast corner of Lauderdale County. So we are watching that right now. That's not uh, something that's uh, really a guarantee. Did they just extend that tornado warning? Oh, no, they didn't. I'm, no, I'm, I haven't. There's a lot happening on this map. So uh, anyway, this is what we're looking at. This is the tornadic storm. Uh, still a very strong storm, uh, a very well organized storm and a very scary storm as this again is bringing uh, that threat of a tornado into now Clark County. It looks like this. Uh, uh, well, maybe may that we're losing some punch here in that newest radar scan. I'm still seeing that rotation. It's right there crossing the county line very near Pachuda. Uh, but this doesn't look as potent as it did. Now, I don't want you to let down your guard. That may not mean anything. It may be a temporary thing while this storm is cycling and starting to reorganize. They do that a lot. This one has done it several times already. And uh, now, again, this is now moving into Clark County. And uh, we're going to put the damage indicator back on this. And it looks like if there's damage, it's, it's coming into Clark County right in here. And a lot of this is going to be tree damage. Um, but we're getting into an area where we do have some homes uh, and some people that are going to be affected by this. And so, again, we're going to track this off toward the east and northeast. And on this current track, as I mentioned, uh, this is going to generally pass just to the north of Quitman. So there's, uh, there's that updated radar image. And since it did update and it looks like the debris signature has moved, I want to get, in fact, you know what? I want to get a little bit closer to that. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get right on top of this and we're going to try and pick out some streets here uh, in this area. Let's, uh, let's get there. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. So this is where we're having some damage right here. And there you see Pachuda. So this is on the south side of Pachuda right now. Uh, and this uh, tornado, and again, I want to emphasize, this is not a possible tornado. This is a confirmed tornado and a tornado emergency continues now for Clark County. This has just crossed Highway 11, though it looks like there may be some more debris, or that may even be hail that's right over I-59 there. But it looks like, uh, again, some debris south of Pachuda, just north now of Barnett, where this has crossed Highway 11. This is approaching Highway 18 in the vicinity of Highway 512, and this will continue its track off toward the northeast. We're gonna draw that tracker back on here, 
And uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to zoom in to some of these streets along the track. And it's going to be close to this. Remember, the, the exact track has been trying to, to kind of trend in different directions here. So there's an idea again, Elwood, 530. Uh, let's see, Quitman, downtown, 535. Sykes, 544. This tracks over the Hopewell School at 546. Energy at 549. And then Snell at 552. And you see there along the, the track of this uh, where we are. So I'm going to zoom in. We're going to get really close here, and we're going to look at some of the streets along this track. As we mentioned, Highway 18 between Pachuda and Harmony, very near the Highway 512 intersection. Then this moves over toward the Elwood area. That's going to be County Road 120, and then it continues uh, along 130 as well, and then over toward Highway 513. Now, 513 runs between Quitman, the north side of Quitman, and Stonewall, and then this gets down Artusa Avenue as well. And on this track, this is going to come dangerously close to downtown Quitman, and I'm talking about areas, uh, let's see, up along 513, uh, let's see, Loretta Drive, North Jackson Avenue, uh, we mentioned Archusa Avenue, there's Harris Avenue, so this is going to be in the vicinity of the courthouse actually, and uh, maybe over toward uh, Sheriff Kemp's office, kind of in that area if this track uh, continues in this direction. We'll continue looking down track here, uh, areas along Highway 18 near County Road 446 out on the east side of Quitman, uh, County Road 511, uh, 684, 677, these are all areas that are in the path. Also, Highway 45, we're getting up here toward, uh, let's see, from, from about 145 south through the Highway 18 intersection down to Cal County Road 511, and then this continues down toward County Road 680 as well, and then we'll keep on going down County Road 511, County Road 670, uh, continuing out Highway 18, and of course uh, toward the Sykes area, toward Hopewell School uh, as well. So that's, that's kind of a, a look here in the next uh, just short while uh, of where that storm uh, could be. Again, very near that, if not right on top of that. This is still the latest radar image we have. We are still seeing that debris signature there, and we are still seeing strong signs of rotation. We're still seeing strong signs of a very well-organized severe thunderstorm that is very likely producing a tornado. Let's see, we're looking through some new information here. Okay, so our friends at the National Weather Service over in Jackson are actually seeing what I just pointed out. It looks like maybe this circulation is not quite as strong as it was, and that's good news. They're continuing the tornado warning. Um, are they saying a confirmed tornado still with this? Yes, and okay. it's still a tornado warning. It's just it's not as tight, and the circulation is not as strong as it was before. Okay, so we are still seeing some damage. We're still seeing that. So, yeah, there's the, the damage uh, indicator right there, the, the debris signature. Uh, has just crossed their Highway 11 just to the south of Pachuda, uh, just as we expected. This will continue off toward the east-northeast, probably tracking across the north side of Quitman here over the next, uh, really, five minutes or so, if it even takes that long. In fact, one more time, I know I just did this, but since we have a brand new radar image, I want to put the new cone on here and uh, kind of update. So this is the debris signature that we're tracking right here. And again, this is just cross Highway 11, very near just south of Pachuda, and this is coming across... Clark County about like this, and at times this has been trying to trend more to the north. These last couple of radar scans maybe look like it's maybe trending back to the south just a little bit. So this will continue that track uh, toward the north, and again, it's going to cross Highway 45 very near that Highway 145 intersection on the north side of Quitman. So that's going to be uh, Highway 145 through Quitman actually turns into Archusa Avenue. So that's just north of downtown. Uh, so again, a dangerous situation developing here. If you are in the path of this, you need to take cover now. Don't wait for it. This thing has uh, some serious movement to it. It's moving very quickly, and I don't want you to try and go outside and try to find it. That's extremely dangerous because this is a rain-wrapped tornado, and um, with a rain-wrapped tornado, you're just not going to see that circulation uh, as well. Also, I, wanna, I do want to say this is a tornado warning that continues for Clark County. The National Weather Service is actually going to, for the time being, they're going to release the tornado emergency wording. So this is no longer a tornado emergency for our area, um, but this is a tornado warning that continues with a very likely tornado. And again, it looks like still a confirmed tornado. It just doesn't look like it's as strong as it was. And there's that rotation, uh, right? In fact, it looks like this rotation may have just reorganized a little bit. I'm starting to see more damage closer to Pachuda, maybe on the north side. Um, but there's, there still is some rotation that's uh, just on the east side there of Pachuda. Look at that rotation. It's uh, kind of inched a little bit towards Stonewall there. 
Um, and that again, that little wobble to the north that we've seen uh, at times. And if that continues, this is a little bit more north of the last track I drew. But if that little bit of a northward wobble continues here, uh, that may be uh, closer to Stonewall at about 533. And then perhaps over areas like... Um, uh, say Causeyville at about 551, Snell 552. Um, if it follows the center of this cone, it probably stays well south of you in Causeyville. Uh, so um, hopefully that's the case. Um, I don't want this to hit anybody, but um, we, we also want to keep this away from the biggest population centers we have. It's never good uh, anytime a tornado does um, does this. This looks like it's weakening significantly, actually. Are you seeing the same thing, Shelby? Yes, it's definitely weakening sig er, much more significantly than it was earlier. Okay. Uh, that rotation has gone down a lot. Yeah, and, and even the storm itself, it just doesn't look as well organized. It looks like it's a little bit disheveled. Well, that's good news for us, guys. Look, we, we don't want a tornado, and uh, there still may be one with this. In fact, there has been still some signs of some rotation. We saw that here just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, but again, the organization of this storm is just not as, as um, uh, textbook as it was here just a couple of minutes ago. And so that may be some good news for us. We're going to continue watching this. And I should mention there's another tornado warning coming on the heels of this, another tornadic supercell thunderstorm. And uh, this one has a history of causing damage as well. It is spreading some heavy rain into Bay Springs with the circulation from this uh, is passing just to the south there of Taylorsville. So that's another um, uh, circulation that we have to be concerned with. There again is another live update from EMEPA live radar. And we, see, we sure enough see that heavy rain um, out ahead of this. So the tornado threat is back here closer to Highway 11, kind of passing between Quitman and Stonewall right now, very close to Stonewall. So if you're in Stonewall and you're listening, you should be in your tornado safe place right now. Shall yes, we? and that tornado warning continues for Clark County, but there's also a tornado that could be coming near Stonewall or near Quitman. So moving that is moving northeast in 55 miles per hour. All right, and that's the one we were just talking about right there. So if that circulation, uh, that, well, the circulation is still there. Um, and as, I, as we mentioned, though, that looks like it's passing very close to Stonewall uh, and, and kind of in between Stonewall and Quitman. There's the circulation right in here. Uh, in fact, uh, the, the, uh, sometimes these storms will do this. They'll actually reorganize a little bit, and that may be what's happening. I know I said that here just a couple of minutes ago, uh, but there's the rotation coming very close to Stonewall. Where's the debris signature? Um, we want to see if we can still see that as well. Um, it, it's hard to tell. Some of this may be a little bit of a debris signature. Um, a lot of what we're seeing here is probably hail, and some of that hail is spreading downwind and perhaps over southwest Lauderdale County. Um, it, it's, it's getting more fuzzy as this is getting farther and farther away from Jackson, however. But again, we, we do have some indication uh, that there's, there still could be a tornado here. Shelby? Yes, and for that second supercell, we are seeing that it is moving northeast, but that tornado emergency has been dropped and is now a tornado warning. Okay, so tornado warning continues. This is for Clark County, right? Yes. Okay, so tornado warning continues there for Clark County. Uh, again, a dangerous situation unfolding here, uh, even though that, that particular storm looks like it's trying to show some signs of weakening. Uh, it, it did look like it probably reorganized a little bit um, and, and maybe cycled down uh, as this was kind of crossing Pachuda and maybe jumped up to the north a little bit. Again, that's not all that uncommon necessarily, uh, but this looks like it's maybe lost some of its organization and lost some of its punch. That's always good news, but there still is a tornado threat with this, and this is still a dangerous situation uh, over northwest Clark County right now. Uh, you know, we had some showers over this area a little bit earlier, and, and those can help cool off the atmosphere and stabilize the atmosphere. Uh, and, and that can help to kind of tame some of these storms. Now, the one that's coming on the back side of this is an issue also, and I want to get back here and look at this one as well because that still is a mean-looking supercell thunderstorm with some very strong rotation. This is now um, uh, kind of coming in our direction. It it's, looks like it's, again, it's just, there's the rotation right there. It's just southeast of Taylorsville, mm -hmm. well to the south of Bay Springs here, and this will continue tracking off toward the northeast as well. And again, at times, this is kind of doing what appears to be maybe a stair step where it's kind of moving northeast and then maybe more east and then kind of uh, doing that over and over uh, because this was following closely on the heels of the other one a short time ago and now it's kind of following just inside the track and maybe to the north just a little bit. As we mentioned though, we still have um, the potential for that tornado. Um, Again, it's hard to see if there's damage here. This may be a little bit of a, of a debris signature. It's hard to tell. Uh, this back here is probably hail, as it's not co-located with the debris signature itself. So uh, that's, that's just kind of where we are right now. And that tornado threat continues uh, not only for the next couple of hours, but our tornado watch continues uh, until 
uh, 8 o'clock this evening, and this is a PDS tornado watch. PDS means a particularly dangerous situation. I think it's worth a mention, too, there are some more storms that are popping back here to the west of Interstate 55 between Jackson and Vicksburg, and these extend up the Mississippi River toward areas like Greenville. Uh, these may have some potential to fire up as well and even intensify as they track to the east into an environment that overall is favorable for strong tornadoes. And we've already had at least a couple of those today, maybe uh, three or four of them, in fact, uh, just in the central and southern part of Mississippi. Uh, we want to continue to track this uh, tornado uh, closely. This again has a history of producing a tornado and even though it's starting to show some signs of trying to wind down just a little bit, uh, we still have a dangerous situation and in the Stonewall area and the Enterprise area, especially in the Stonewall area. Uh, it looks like that circulation uh, is still with us there. It does look like it's weakening. That latest radar scan does not look as strong. It doesn't look as well organized as it did. And I certainly don't see, I, I see little uh, weaknesses in this, uh, this image here that sometimes can be debris, but it, with, without that strong circulation, these are probably not debris signatures. They're more likely um, some small hailstones, uh, which can also be seen by the radar. But um, uh, th this is certainly encouraging for us. But I, again, if you're in Stonewall, Bassic City, and heading toward the Clarkdale area, you, you certainly want to be uh, in your tornado safe place and you want to stay there until the storm passes. Again, this, the strongest part of this is right over the top of you in Stonewall. And this again is tracking toward the northeast at a solid 55 miles per hour. And uh, there is heavy rain spreading up to uh, Highway 19 South, uh, close to Clarkdale and uh, well, that's along 145, but over toward 19, Causeyville, Vimville, the Zero community, uh, out along Fisher Road, uh, Zero Road, Causeyville Road. That's just heavy rain. And again, there may be some, some hail with that, but right now I don't see any uh, strong indication of a tornado threat there unless this uh, circulation continues to uh, work its way in our direction. Uh, you know, we talked about uh, last night the potential for not only tornadoes, but for wind. Uh, and we've had a lot of wind uh, around the area as well. Um, we do have a report now that we actually have debris falling across Lauderdale County uh, from downtown and also out near the airport. And I told you a little bit earlier that that could happen. And um, uh, thank you, Shelby. So uh, we just got word from the National Weather Service. They have canceled now the tornado warning for Clark County. I told you that circulation looked like it was weakening and uh, they, they are seeing the same thing. So um, that's encouraging news, as I mentioned. There still is a strong thunderstorm there, but that rotation again is starting to wind down. Our next issue is this storm that's back here over Jasper County and passing very near or just to the south now of Bay Springs. Um, so I just got some of these reports in. Debris is falling across Lauderdale County right now. Uh, I told you a little bit earlier, sometimes a tornado will suck debris up and then blow it downwind in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And we've seen some of that from downtown Meridian over toward the airport. And uh, that's a report that we have also. We have have some small trees, uh, branches, leaves, things like that. Um, and uh, of course, yeah, that, this is what we were saying earlier. You know, if, if we had that, that debris blowing downwind, it's not just hail that's in that. You probably don't want to be outside and have things uh, falling on you. That's uh, a dangerous place to be. Meteorologist Shelby Mason is with me this evening, and uh, she's been helping me track these storms. We've been here since about 10 o'clock this morning. And I know we got a little bit of a slow start, but I, we, we had a, a, a kind of suspicion that when things got got uh, rocking, they were going to be rolling, right? And they certainly have. Do you have some new information for us? There actually has been a damage report on Highway 18 West in the 500 block of Pachuta mm -hmm. and is completely blocked by trees. Okay, so that's um, that's probably from that circulation. We, we yes. certainly saw the um, uh, the circulation as it crossed Highway 11 there near Pachuta, and, and there was a debris signature there at the time as well. Uh, so uh, that's going to be right here along Highway 11. Again, we're, we've got trees down and blocking part of Highway 11, right? Yep. And again, where do you remember where that was? Did you have, where is that again? Highway 18 on the 500th block of Pachuta. Okay, so that's going to be uh, right here in this area. We have trees down along Highway 11, very near Highway 18 there, and they're blocking the highway. You still have heavy rain in Pachuta, by the way. I hope you can still hear me there. Um, we can actually check and see uh, kind of how the power outages are, are looking as well. That's uh, sometimes some handy information also. And um, I, I can tell you that, uh, well, we've got, I don't have any power outages. Yes, we do. We have 82 customers without power in Clark County right now, 803 down in Wayne County, over 4,000 in Jones County. 
and another almost 1,000 back into Covington County from these tornadoes. Uh, we have another circulation here over Jasper County. Uh, this circulation is still rocking here. This is just east of Taylorsville now, uh, south of Bay Springs. Here's the damage. Yep, and there is a damage signature, a debris signature uh, that's showing up on radar right there just east of Taylorsville, and it just moved on me as it updated, but uh, it looks like we're starting to maybe lose the, the strongest part of that, too. And that would be good news. As I mentioned a short time ago, we had some shower activity a little bit earlier. We had some showers around out ahead of these tornadic storms, and, and that really helped to uh, maybe stabilize the atmosphere a little bit. So we're getting damage reports, but uh, this could be much, much worse. So the newest information we have is that our tornado warning now in Clark County is done. We've, uh, that warning has been canceled by the National Weather Service. They are the official issuers of all the watches and warnings. All right, okay, this is, this is um, our, our friend Eddie Ivey down at Clark County Emergency Management is now reporting uh, that a double wide trailer has been flipped with possible injuries in the Enterprise area on County Road 320. Uh, that's not what we wanted to hear, and uh, this has been um, kind of a daunting week leading up to this, and, and I hate to hear this, and uh, hopefully those, those folks are going to be okay. I know he'll check on that and he'll let us know. Um, but again, now we're getting reports of, uh, of injuries and some significant damage uh, down closer to the Enterprise area. Uh, that may be even a little farther south of Enterprise, uh, down along 520, right? So 320. That, 320, yeah, that, that may be a little farther south. Uh, we can zoom in and kind of see. But this, this next storm, I, I do want to put the tracker on it. Now, we don't have a warning. Uh, we have a warning in Jasper County, I think, for it still. Uh, but we also have this uh, kind of making a track for us here in Clark County as well. I want to put the damage indicator back on this so we can track it from that point. And uh, we're going to put the, the tracking cone on it and again that damage right in here. So I'm going to track it from that point and this has been moving off toward the east northeast and if this holds together again and this may fizzle just as this uh, last circulation has done uh, but this could be near the Waldrop community at 552